Yo, what is up, YouTube? It is me here, Hypa Plays. Today, back with a brand new video on this channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be doing something a little unique, a little different uh, from what I'm used to making. Um, in today's video, if you guys play Grand Theft Auto 5 and you guys have a few, you know, mods that y'all like to play on on your computer. And you recently got on today, and you realize that you cannot launch your Grand Theft Auto 5. And you get a notification, if it works, that is. Something along the lines of this right here. Yep. Right here. You get a, a thing that popped up on your screen that says, Script hook V critical error. Fatal. Unknown game version. Check the website for updates. Would you like to check download page now? And it shows all the supported versions. Which is... Uh, 10335.2 and this one right here, which is what we're going to be installing today The 1.0.2699.0 So I'm gonna click no, it's gonna quit that game Okay, so To start off, uh, you're gonna need two files I will leave a link to both of those files in the description below Go download both of those files, download both of those files and this method, as far as I know, only works for Rockstar Game Launcher, which is what I use. And there's no actual YouTube videos on YouTube as of right now until, <laughs> until I make this video, of course, about how to fix this. And if you're wondering why this is happening, it's because there was a GTA 5 update today. And in order for you to use your uh, mods, you're going to have to go back in the game and, uh, you know, fix it and go back to a downgraded version which I'm going to show you how to do in this video. So, go ahead and open up your Rockstar Game Launcher and go to your uh, settings. Here, let me go full screen. Go to your Grand Theft Auto V. And click right here. No, not click any of this. Click View Installation Folder. This is going to take you to your Grand Theft Auto V directory, okay? And in this folder, you're going to want to go down to you see... GTA 5, and you're going to see the date, which is today's date, October 25th, 2022. And as you can see, all of these are the same exact date. Even down here, play GTA V, the same date, right? You just want to go check your version real quick. So if you right-click your mouse and go to Properties, you will see this is the, you know, the update file. And you go over to, uh, where is it at? right here that's where it at okay details and this is the current product version since the game updated without me knowing an automatic update um it's product version 1.0.2699.16 as you can tell that's not the current version we need we need 1.0.2699.0 so in order to fix that you won't have to, okay, just close out of your, actually keep your direct, keep your directory open. Okay, you can close, you can minimize your Rockstar Game Launcher. I'm going to leave the link to these files in the description below. Go download both of these files, and then extract them from WinRAR to your desktop. Okay, so we're going to start with uh, the GTA 5, GTA V 1.0.2699.0 Rockstar Game Launcher. We're going to start with this one. Okay, so once we get in here, go ahead and uh, put your directory, uh, directory right here. Pull it up right beside it. So just put it like right here, and then pull this one aside to like right there. And then pull it down. Yep. Okay. So what you want to do is let me do this real quick. Okay. What you want to do is go up. Okay. You see all these files. So what you want to do is this will not delete your game. I promise you. Click delete GTA 5. It's gone. Okay. Now, do not, do whatever you do, do not click the refresh where it might actually delete your game, okay? Just go over here. I've already tested this, so it does work, <laughs> okay? So take this file right here. Take this one, this one, and this one, and this one. All four files, GTA 5. They see the different dates. These are the, pre the old versions that we were allowed to use. So drag them and drop them. Do not drag them into a folder. Just actually, if you want to, go up here and then move to Grand Theft Auto V or your directory. Place it. This destination has three files with the same name, which is the ones we just seen, which is this one, this one, and this one. 
but you just want to click replace the files and it might give you something like this just click do this for all current file items and then click continue and there you go now we're not done just yet do not launch the game yet we got to do a few more things there, there they are okay, now you can refresh your game and there they are we have the oldest updates and i'm pretty sure go to properties and what we've seen earlier of the supported versions we now have that supported version but if you launch the game right now it's not going to work so what you need to do now is open up this gta v launcher bypass and just take both of these folks take both of these files and just drag and drop them into your directory do not place them into a folder or you may lose some data just move to grant the auto uh, directory place that do check this do this for all current items there you go now you have these placed in re like reload your thing now go back to here okay and take this update.rps and take this update2.rps take both of these files and actually wait before you do that click on your in your grant the 5 directory click uh, update folder and here you will have this one right here and this one right here now if you are very if you see this right here you have the 1025 that is today's date we do not want to use these files we want to drag these two into your update folder do not drag them into one of these just drag them to your update folder the destination has two files with the same names replace the files in the destination do this for all current items continue there you go now you have the 8th which is august 25th 2022 on both of those reload your refresh that refresh it again and then go back you can exit out of this you can exit out of all of this actually wait did we add that yeah we did add that so you can exit out of this folder now we are going to want to pull up our script hook b folder go ahead and pull that all the way up and select bin so you, this is what you want to do okay you want to grab the dinput 8.dll and the script hook b.dll and you want to drag do not drag the native asi do not drag that file drag both of these files into your grant that file file directory replace the files do this for all current items continue okay now listen very closely so when you launch grand theft auto you do not want to launch it from the games you do not want to launch it or it will not work you're going to want to have to launch it from down here to the gta 5 file you're going to want to click on that right click run as administrator okay and it should load up grand theft auto 5 and you will have your mods installed still like so okay let's go full game mode for this guys and i will see y'all when we get into the game
Okay, guys, we have loaded into the game, okay? Now, if you pull up your mod menu, which is F8, there you go. You have successfully reinstalled your mod pack, and it is snowing outside. Let me just fix that. Weather options, uh, snow and terrain, exit all that off. Now, your game may show a few lag spikes at the first beginning of it, but after a while, that will go away. Let me just make sure everything works okay. Let me object spooner. Uh, edit in energy. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Uh, manage save files. Yep. Okay, I have everything that I had before. Let me make sure my character is still here. Yep, they're all still here. So let me go to my character real quick. I think that's a eagle or something or a bird. No, that's not. That, that's the other one. This one right here. <laughs> this one right here. That's a bird. <laughs> This right here, that's my character. Okay. So, uh, let me just teleport. I actually installed a map, and I have a... Maybe see if my Glock is still working. My Glock is still working. Okay, my realistic sounds through the smoke. If you guys want me to add a tutorial on that, y'all let me know in the comments down below. Okay, let me go to my house real quick. Make sure everything's still working. Let me go all the way. My house is so far. You know what I'm going to do, actually? Wait. I'm going to teleport over there. I did not mean to do that. I'm going to teleport over there. Now, this is the part, well, if this works, then that means your game is successfully good to go. Yep, okay. And this also works for LSPDFR. I will make a separate tutorial sometime tomorrow if you guys want to see an LSPDFR video on it. But if I go over here to my house, it is still there. Okay, so, <laughs> this mod, or not this mod, but this fix successfully works as so. And my game is back up and running. Now, I'm not running on the, uh... I'm not on the current, I'm not, on the, I'm not on the latest GTA 5 update, I'm on a different one. So, yeah, my house is up and running still, my car should be in my garage, no, I didn't save it yesterday, crap, but your game is, just do not go in GTA Online, because I don't know how well that works, you can't even do that, because you're not on the latest one, but, um, yeah, if y'all want me to show y'all how to install this house as well, I would gladly do that, it's got a pool, got all kinds of crap in it it's really cool it's got a gym up it's got a mcdonald's in here too let me show you all that real quick sorry i'm just <laughs> i've been trying to fix my game all day and i finally figured out a way to do it and i see no other tutorials on youtube so i was like you know what i'm gonna show you all how to do it all right let me go on my mcdonald's there's my mcdonald's right there <laughs> if y'all want me to show you how to install this map i gladly will it's really cool it took a it took, takes like five minutes it's so cool but uh um, that will be all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If it helped you, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on those post notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video.